What is happening YouTube? Welcome to a quick tutorial video that I am going to be doing. Uh, this is on the basis of a couple of people asking me how I managed to do this. Basically what I'm going to talk you through is how to add a shape to your webcam using what we call alpha masking. As you can see on my webcam, if I just uh, bring this up, I have a hexagon shape webcam, webcam and that is done purely with image masking or alpha masking depending on which software you use. It's called alpha masking in OBS, it's called image masking in XSplit. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to show you what it does first. So if you go into OBS, I'm going to, I'm going to use OBS as an example because I'm more au okay with OBS if I'm honest to you. Um, it is possible in XSplit, but it's a little bit more complicated. And what you're going to do is you're going to add your webcam as a source, just down here. You're going to go to filters, and then you've got this window here. And in the effects section, you're going to add an image mask blend. And what, the, what you want is an alpha channel alpha mask. If I remove this, it makes the webcam rectangular. So, and if we add it, it will change it back to a to a hexagon. Now, a lot of people are asking this because, quite frankly, a massive rectangular webcam takes up a lot of space on the green screen, and some streamers prefer to have as little space taken up on the green game screen as possible. Also, it's very good for making it fit overlays such as Dota 2, League of Legends. You can basically mask a shape on your webcam so it fits nicely in the overlay. So it's got a lot of advantages to doing this. Obviously you need to find what's right for yourself. But if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Okay, so what we're gonna need are a, is a file of some sort. It can be any shape you want. A hexagon, it can be a rectangle with borders on it. It can be a circle, anything you want. In OBS, what you're going to do is you're just going to add it in the image mask. Don't have to worry about any other settings. You just need to make sure this is alpha mask and alpha channel. Because what that will do is it will pick the primary color and basically make that the image kind of like display area. And then we're just going to add it. So you can add whatever shape you want. You can have it as a circle, like I say, you can have it as a triangle, you can have it as a star shape, whatever you want. But I have it as a hexagon because it seems to fit nicely. It looks pretty, it looks all right. It doesn't leave a lot of space on your screen. Um, so you don't get any unnecessary space. You only basically get what you need to see. Uh, I do run a crop so that you it crops out a lot of the stuff that you don't need to see behind. And as you can see, the result is you basically get up here a hexagon shaped webcam. Okay, so that's how you do it in OBS. It's dead simple. You just create the image, add it as an image mask, obviously run cool. In XSplit, it is a little bit more difficult. In fact, I very rarely managed to get an image mask working. However, XSplit does have its own way of doing it, but it's limited in what shapes you can have. What you do is you basically add your source. In this instance, I'm using my capture card. You go, you just right click it and you go to effects. So with no mask, it looks a little bit like this. I've tried it with a file, but as I say, it's very difficult to get working. It's, I need to try and, I'm gonna play around with it and maybe do another tutorial for XSplit. Um, but what you can do in XSplit is it does have custom shapes. So if you want a circle, of, a circle for its instance, you can add. And I'm going to add the border, just so you can see. And you can add a shadow to it. And uh, you can basically play around with this and kind of get the shape that you want. Obviously, you wouldn't have it full screen. You'd only have it a little bit. So if I then go to do that, you'd end up with something like that. 
So like I say, it's not perfect in XSplit. I've not managed to get a file working. I've had a look at their documentation. You might want to visit the XSplit forums to get see how you can get it working in the XSplit perfectly. But it does have its own way of doing it, which you can add a border to. You can make it a, you can get rid of the border. You can make it like see-through in a way. Or you can just do what, play around with it and see how you feel. But that is basically it. All you need to do is create an image in the shape that you want. Uh, make sure that the primary color is the area you want to display. Because if you do it the other way, you'll end up with something like this. I'll show you. So the primary color is always the area you want to show or display, not the area that you want to hide. So, and boom, you get a hexagon shape web, webcam, a circle shape, you can do whatever shape you want that fits your overlay. And then take it from there and hopefully that helps you improve the uh, quality of your stream in a way. Makes it look a bit nicer for you, a bit tidier. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. If not, drop me a like, I would very much appreciate it. I do stream on Twitch and Beam, but I am promoting Beam as it's a much lower delay. It's only like two second delay rather than a 20 to 30 second delay. So I am promoting my Beam channel now rather than my Twitch channel, but I do dual stream to both and they're both JR underscore UK. So hit me a follow up on that. As I say, comment, like, subscribe and see you later. Peace out.